There's going to be a comic book that is going to be released in October, October 19th of this year. Um, it's going to be called Invasion, and it's going to be, a, I think, a three, three or four issue comic. And it's going to be about Arya, and it's going to be after Retribution. And in this comic, if you read about it a little bit, um, it says that Arya is still associated with Cerberus in the beginning, and that she has allowed Cerberus to use Omega as a supply hub uh, for its research bases beyond the Omega-4 relay. But a, a Cerberus ship lands on Omega and these crazy weird creatures attack. That's all that's said so far about what Invasion is going to be about, but that's where you find out that the, that the relationship between Cerberus and Arya is broken. So in Mass Effect 3, Arya is most, most definitely going to be in Mass Effect 3. As to what extent, I don't know, but since Arya is going to be against Cerberus now because they have, they attacked her, what I'm hoping for is that you will be able to team up with Arya. Now, whether it's if it's permanent, I don't think it will be, but maybe temporarily you'll get to team up with Arya and hunt down Kai Lang or go after Cerberus or something like that, where she sees a benefit as to working with Shepard. Where she's like, you know what, I think he could really get me to Cerberus or get me to Kai Lang and I could, you know, take him down or get my revenge. So maybe she'll be a temporary party member. It's really hard for me to see Arya being a permanent party member. It would be awesome, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't think Arya would agree to being part of a team, especially when led by someone else, not her. So I don't think she would stay permanently. She would probably be one of those... Uh, temporary squad mates that Bioware keeps talking about. How awesome would that be to have Arya on your team? Even if it's just for a little while. I, that would be so cool to finally see her in action. Oh my god. Now we know that she is a very strong biotic. She, they showed a little bit of her powers in the comic book um, it was an online comic, I think. It was very, very short. It was just like, who knows how many pages, maybe eight pages. It was called Incursion. You can find it on the internet. Just look up Incursion, uh, Mass Effect comic Incursion, and you will find it. It's actually two weeks before the Collectors attack the Normandy, so before they kill Shepard. The Collectors were already on Omega uh, getting specimens, human specimens. Arya finds out about some kind of weird uh, negotiations going on with the Blue Suns and she goes to investigate herself. She goes with uh, some of her goons and she sees that the Collectors are involved and the Blue Suns are kind of handing over a group of people to the Collectors and she's like, what the hell? She's just like, I'm gonna intercept this. I need to know what's going on here. And she just jumps off the balcony and like busts this crazy biotic move and like kills who knows how many collectors and oh, it's pretty cool like she she takes out a collector like nothing so she's pretty powerful and that's when she finds out that the collectors are looking for uh you know people because she finds this data pad and it says the populations of eden prime of omega of earth of all these different um places the populations of humans and she's just like what and that's where she finds out that the collectors are up to something and then mass effect 2 starts she was also in the redemption comic uh the one with liara she's she's also in that comic for like a little second uh liara and farin the drill that liara is working with um they go to omega to ask Arya, if she knows what's where Shepard's body is, she basically tells them where the Blue Suns are taking Shepard's body. So that's how Li Liara and Farron find out where Shepard's body is through Arya. So Arya's involvement in Mass Effect Three, I think, is going to be very interesting. At least I, I I think it will be because she's such an interesting character uh, that I just want to know more about her. And if if she were to be a squad mate, even if it's just temporary, I think it'd be awesome whether you like Arya or not i think i think it would just be very 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 cool to see her in action a few interesting details about Arya. a lot of people think 
I don't know if you guys remember, but in Mass Effect 1, Rex talks about a Asari that, a Merc, an Asari Merc, um, that had some commando training, I think he mentions, and he mentioned the Salarian, and he's just talking about this Asari named Alina. He says that they, they, they fought for like two days, and it was the hardest fight that uh, Rex had. In his that he ever had, and she ended up escaping, and, and he thought she was probably dead, and he she sent him a message saying, um, "Better luck next time" or something like that. Now, because Arya says that she has changed her name, she says it to Shepard. She says that she had changed her name a few times. Um, so a lot of people think that this Asari that Rex was talking about was Arya. I'll put a little link to, for that that video here. A lot of people disagree though because they're like that's not enough evidence to show that it was Arya what it wasn't because she does mention um, on Mass Effect 2 that she has gone uh, that she has fought a few Krogans Rex and her weren't enemies they were actually friends but um, they ended up fighting and she says in Mass Effect 2 that she pref she prefers sometimes you prefer to disappear instead of killing someone I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe Arya isn't even her real name. Maybe it's a code name for her. I, I really don't lean towards it being her or not, but I think it's a very an interesting little detail that if it is Arya, I thought it, I think it would be really cool um, that, that Bioware did that, you know, mentioning her in Mass Effect 1 and then having her come out in Mass Effect 2. Uh, but I don't think I don't think we'll ever find out unless someone tells us from Bioware uh, straight out, but yeah. Another thing is that a lot of people think that uh, she could possibly be a matriarch. Since she is over a thousand years old, and matriarch in the codex it says that you uh, Asaris can become matriarchs over 700, I believe, once they're 700 years old, and have like a daughter, I guess. She could probably be a matriarch. Um, it's not completely sure though, because it's not mentioned. That's another possibility, another speculation about Arya. That's mostly what I wanted to say. Uh, in particular about Arya, so this was more like a little biography on her just because I think a lot of people don't know too much about her just because a lot of what comes from Arya came from the books. We got a lot of her personality from Mass Effect 2, but from who she is, or she, who she really is, um, I think came a lot from this book. And I think we're going to know even more in the comic book Invasion that will be coming out in October, so I'm looking forward to that like super looking forward to that I can't wait to read that but yeah I wanted to do this one just because I wanted to <clears throat> let you guys know a little bit about her and just because I think she is going to be a important character for Mass Effect 3 she might um, end up working with you or you will probably cross her and maybe talk about these issues her issue with Cerberus her issue with the elusive man her issue with Kai Lang so I, I think we won't know to what extent um, until we read the Invasion comic. That I think that'll give us more clues. Let me know what you think about Arya. Do you like her? Do you not like her? Do you really not really care about her or, you know, anything? That's what I know about Arya. There's more to find out about her and for them, for Bioware to be making a comic book just about her before Mass Effect 3, that means that they really want us to know something about Arya, maybe to link Aria to Mass Effect 3 because Retribution it really it didn't it, it didn't I don't think that was it for Aria. So I'm going to end it there and I will talk to you guys later.